Hello, welcome back. So hopefully you have seen my previous video in this order where I actually managed to get a partition and dump it into an ISO. So I have an image that it's actual pretty accurate representation of that partition. Now I'm going to show you how can you mount an ISO. This works for this, where I just clone the partition to an ISO, but this works also to any ISO image. Roll the intro, that's enough. Okay, so let's um, go back to the console. So on my previous video, I just uh, managed to create this ISO which represents uh, the um, the contents of a, a certain uh, of a partition, and that partition had a few dump files. So this will have the contents of this. So what I have to do now to see the contents of this file is to mount it. So this can be made. I'm going to make this on the same machine that I have that I have imaged, but this can be done on a different machine. You just get the ISO, copy it there, and do it over there. Okay. So let's do it uh, like this. For, let's do MKDIR, MNT ISO. ISO image, whatever we can call it, whatever, whatever you want. Okay. Now you just have to mount this image. Um, let me give you the full path, just because um, it actually makes sense. And in theory, if things went uh, as expected, there we go. See. So this ISO, this proves, this proves that this method. Actually, made an accurate image of the partition. It has a, the same, it's the exact same contents, and I can mount it like a regular partition or a regular storage device, and I am able to see the contents of it. I could put this on the FS tab so it's so that it's made um, it's made permanent, but I don't see the need for that for the most part. But you do you, you do whatever you like. So. This method here, which is mount, and then um, the specified ISO, and then specify the um, and then specify the um, the where to mount the folder. You can actually see the contents of any ISO file, and you can by this you just list of it's like an partition. It's quite simple. It's so 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 simple. So do I have here an, an example for um, on my on my FES tab? No, I actually don't have any um, any for the ISOs. But all I had to do here is to put it, put a new line here on the FS tab, so it can can be permanently mounted. But that's for the next video. The next video in this series is going to me to show you how can we mount this uh, an, an ISO file permanently on the FS tab. Okay. So let's just uh, review here. So it's as simple as that. You just have to do and create a folder, whatever folder, as usual for any mount command. You do mount, specify the ISO, and specify the folder. So nowadays the mount command it's very it's very effective. I mean that's that's the way to say it. So the mount command is, is very very effective. That allows us to say this, and he kind of knows what to do. I'm going to show you the next video how can you can can you make this permanent on the FS tab so it's it happens on every reboot. Until then, like, subscribe and comment, it really helps, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.